Hi. This is the YouTube channel for Math Contest Go Go Go. What I want to do for this channel is to build a platform for math lovers in order to make them discuss about different kinds of math problems. I will update a video about challenging problems every day. If you would like, please subscribe below. Hi, welcome to the North America Math Contest Go Go Go. Uh, this week's film is starting on this film. We are going to talk about the things on calculus BC. So in this case, the first thing is about the Again, integration. The integration by parts is one of the hardest integral knowledge. Actually, not hard. Uh, okay, so it is the most important part is require you to find the left part. Find the to plug in u and dv as the as the original. Uh, what's that called? Original parts. So that this is the most important thing that required you to do so that you are going to solve the entire equation. Okay. So let's give an, okay, this x cosine x, right? Uh, this, so it is required that you need to solve u is equals to u or dv is equal to something. So in this case, I suggest you, uh, there are two ways to do it. Or this. U is equals to cos x. DV is equals to x. So let's try the first way first. Um, to solve that, what you need to do, since you already know this, you need to find about v and du. We know v is, uh, what's that called? The v. Antiderivative of dv is going to be sine x, right? Uh, then u, we know since u is equals to x, right? Then du is going to be 1. Okay, so we get the four things down. Okay, now let's do it. x cosine x is equals to u is x. v is sine x minus uh, integral sine x du. What's du? du is 1. du is 1 here. Minus sine x dx. Okay, here. Uh, what you now need to do is you need to keep calculating this x sine x minus this. So we know that this is going to be negative cosine x. So it's plus cosine x plus c. And you are done. Let's give it one more example to make this more clear. Let me think about this. Okay. In X. Uh, U and DV, right? Uh, let me think. In this case, okay. So, U, it can only be in X. Because it is impossible to be anything else. DV is equal to 1 or DX. So we have listed out this, and we just calculate v. A v is easily. So u is v is the derivative of one is x, right? And the du is one uh, divided by x. Yes. Wow, du. And right. Next. And 
and dx, yes. So in this case, then you since you have solved this, and what you now need to do is you only need to plug in this in x times x minus root uh, integral x times 1x dx, right? So this is going to be 1 dx in x, x in x, we know this is going to be x minus x plus constant, and you are done. So the key point for this is that you need to find distribute u and dv to make to 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 make the formula uh, to get so that the u and dv you can get v and you can get du and u v minus integral v du are solvable, which means v cannot be too complex in this case. So it just requires you a bit choosing, and you are done. Now let's talk about the second thing, which it is about partial fra fraction. Uh, let me think, how can I do this? Given the formula. Okay, just in case I make it unsolvable. Okay, require you to find this, right? Ah, sorry, I just <laughs> said the solution. Okay, okay, okay. It mostly will not just divide it for you. It surely will be square plus 2x minus 3. It surely will be looking like this. Okay, to solve this problem, you first need to factorize it, which is the basic knowledge. Okay, then you need to put it into, the key point is that you need to put it into this, and then you solve it, this. And then you integral, use the integral rule, then you sep separate it to two parts, and you solve it. Okay, well, this doesn't seem hard, okay. So you need to, uh, since we know that we divide it to x, yes, so it should be look like this. So in this case, uh, we make it into this way. It's equals to ax minus 1 plus bx plus 3. Right. So what then you need to do is you need to, it is the most hardest part because the most common way is that you need to try it. Plus 7, right? So we get to know that b has to be larger than 3. Larger than or equals to 3. Okay. So we know b is equal to 3, a is equal to 2, so that is able to be solvable. The easiest, so for this, the best way I suggest you is just to try. Okay, just to try. Like if you try, you're able to get what A is and what B is very easily. Okay. So in this case, you get B is 3 and A is 2. Right? And let's separate it. Since we know that A is 2, we separate it into this. Uh, 3 plus 2 plus 3x minus y, right? Then you just uh, add the integration sign to both sides. And you get this, plus 3 in x minus 1. And you are done. Oh, remember to add the constant at last. And you are done with it. So how do we solve the pra uh, particle fraction ultimately? So the first way is that you factor the denominator and you change it into two separate partial functions that, that can be solved through in. And then you integrate both of them and you are done. Here, we come to the end of this film. If you like the video, please subscribe below.